Hi, Martha. Hi. It is so nice of you to let Annette and I stop by your house today. You look wonderful. Thank you. Everybody at church is going to be thrilled to see you. So let me ask you a question. Why do you continue to give and support Christ's church? Oh, it was with some trepidation that I started going to the Little White Chapel. Not because I was a Methodist at heart, but because two churches had closed in which I had been a, an active member and I was almost afraid to get involved again. <laughs> the first Sunday I attended, I remember writing in my journal, heard a great sermon, great music. I will think seriously of making this my church home. I am so glad that I did. There are many things to be grateful for during the Thanksgiving season. My spiritual home is one of the most important. The best way to show my gratitude I found in this little pamphlet called 12 Rules for Christian Living. It doesn't have a date on it, but it's got a price of two cents. <laughs> It's been well worth the two cents. I don't know if I spent it or not. But I've had it for a long time. Rule number eight reads, give part of my income for church and charity, either by the old rule of one-tenth or by some other means. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Amen. It's got underneath that. Amen. I have followed these rules since my early Sunday school days. Give willingly with a cheerful heart and you will be blessed. Amen. I have never regretted my decision that I made over 21 years ago. Give my love and monetary support to Little White Chapel as long as the body and mind cooperate. Thank you, Little White Chapel members and Pastor Bill for being my spiritual family. God bless you, Martha. That was beautiful. <laughs>